The Taskmaster Season 17 lineup has been revealed, and we now know the five comedians will be taking on Greg and Alex in 2024. They are Joanne McNally, they are John Robbins, they are Nick Mohammed, they are Sophie Willen, and Steve Pemberton. Right, so we're going to dig in now to who they are, where they come from, where you might recognise them from as well. So Helen, tell us about sitting in seat number one, Joanne McNally. Yeah, Joanne, an Irish comedian, very accomplished. Uh, she's probably best known for her podcast with Vogue Williams, My Therapist Ghosted Me. Very, very funny, just been touring Australia as well with it. So very successful as well. Um, she's also kind of teased her appearance on Taskmaster a little bit already. She hinted that she needed a pink jumpsuit for a project. Okay. Now I bet it's this. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a safe bet. Yeah. Seems yeah. like a good Taskmaster Very outfit. Very Taskmaster. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll move on now to uh, seat number two, which is John Robbins. John Robbins is a comedian, a stand-up, very kind of visceral stand-up, brilliant his material. I think he's felt like a Taskmaster contestant in waiting for a while. He's good friends with Alex Horn. They do a YouTube series together called Bad Golf. So if you're looking to get some early John Robbins Perfect. Taskmaster taste, go for Bad Golf. He's not done too much UK TV work. He hosted a show called Beat the Internet on Dave a while ago. He's made appearances on Mock the Week. And he's probably best known for his radio and podcast work with Ellis James. So that's John Robbins. Moving on now to seat number three, we have Nick Mohammed. Nick's probably best known for playing Nate in Ted Lasso, the massively successful Apple comedy. Uh, he also plays the role of Mr. Swallow in stand-up and sketches. Um, I think he'll be really good at it because he's super smart. And uh, you can see this in some of his appearances on panel shows. He's been on Ace Out of 10 Cats, does Countdown before. Uh, he's also um, acted as well in certain things starring alongside a certain Steve Pemberton in Inside Number Nine. We'll so, get to him soon. Absolutely. So he knows he knows the cast well. Seat number four, Sophie Willen, um, probably best known for appearing in Alma's Not Normal, um, BBC sitcom, really brilliant sitcom, Alma's Not Normal. She has also acted in some more serious roles as well. She was recently seen in the second season of Time on BBC. And her voice will be very familiar to many people because she narrated the uh, reality series The Circle. So you might recognise her voice. I from definitely the... do. Absolutely. <laughs> and in seat number five is Steve Pemberton. The man who needs no introduction at all. You know, he's the one of the creative forces behind the League of Gentlemen, Inside Number Nine, very strange, unusual comedies, but also more mainstream as well, like Ben Adorm, um, I think people are probably best known for. He's also been in the likes of Doctor Who, very accomplished. And uh, I think everyone knows who he is, really. 100%. National treasure, Steve Pemberton. Really good get for the show as well. Really, Incredible. Really good acquisition. So, yeah. So now we know who they are, we can make some very early predictions on who we think might do well, who might be the ones to impress. Who do you think of the five looks like the one to watch? I hope I'm not going to regret my very <laughs> early predictions here. But um, I think Steve, actually. Mm -hmm. Steve Pemberton. I think, you know, he's clearly a very smart guy. He's the creative force behind so many very popular and very complex shows as well, not just um, sort of basic sitcoms. Um, he's quick witted. As I say, he's smart. He's very creative. I can see him doing well in the opening tasks, bringing in some quite unusual <laughs> objects. I'm definitely. quite looking forward to seeing that. And I think Greg will just be quite impressed by it. Yeah, definitely. I think Greg will have a nice rapport with him as well. He might also delight in teasing him because Steve has a massively successful career <laughs> outside yeah. of it. So he might be trying to bring him down. I don't know. Greg works in mysterious ways. I mean, we'll see what mood the Taskmaster's in, right? 100%. But um, no, I think I think he'll do well. I think he'll impress. And I think I can see him thinking outside the box as well, yeah. like a lot of his comedic sketches do. I yeah. can see him going for the unusual route. So whatever, however well he does, he's going to be entertaining, right? And statistically, he sits in the best seats. Seat number five, the one that's closest to Greg, has had the most winners from Taskmaster history. There we go. Unfortunately, on, yeah, <laughs> there's pressure with that as well. Uh, seat number one, statistically, is the worst Taskmaster seat to sit in. In terms of full season winners, there's only been one, Dara O'Brien. So good luck, Joanne McNally. She's going to do it in her jumpsuit. She can break it. She can Anyone break the trend. Anyone who can rock a pink jumpsuit <laughs> is going to win Taskmaster. That's Fingers my crossed prediction. for her sake. Yeah. I, I, if I had to make a prediction at this stage, I think I'd go John Robbins as someone who I think knows the show quite well. Super competitive by his own admission. If you watch the golf series, you know just how competitive he is. I think he will want to win. Um, I think he'll also be quite good at it as well. I feel like he's got a, kind of a nice mix of being funny, but also being quite single-minded about it. But then again, that might also work against him. Because if Greg says, do you know what? I'm not having this. He's the one to pick on. Then he's in trouble. Greg doesn't do favourites, right? <laughs> no, Greg does not do favourites. Absolutely not. So one to watch, I think, there. I think I'm really excited to see Nick. 
um, Nick as Nick because I think we've seen him as an actor more than we've seen himself. So this will be the one where we'll see him. He's like, super clever. I think he'll be he'll take to a lot of these tasks really well. And I think Sophie, if I had to make a prediction, who might be the kind of breakout star of the season that maybe some people might not be as familiar with, I think Sophie could be the one because she is hilarious. I think she's perfectly suited for Taskmaster. If you don't know her then, you're going to know her by the end of Taskmaster. You absolutely will. So looking forward to season 17. Season 16 is now over. I loved it. Fantastic season. Congratulations to, spoiler alert if you haven't watched the final yet, Sam Campbell, who won after 10 episodes. He goes on now hopefully to the champion of champions, whenever that may be, further down the line. Um, but congratulations to Sam and all the contestants for a fantastic season. Right, that's it for this year. Thanks so much for joining us with these Taskmaster reactions. Let us know who you're most excited about in season 17, and we'll see you soon. Bye.